is Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory actually Dante's Inferno? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is a classic children's story. It seems like a delightful romp through a magical candy factory, but is it actually a trip to hell? Now, before we ruin your childhood, it's helpful to know about Dante's Inferno, one of the most famous poems ever written. The author, Dante, is led by a guide through the different levels of hell until he eventually meets Satan, a three-headed beast with bat wings frozen in ice. In the Inferno, Charon, the boatman of hell, ferries Dante across the river Acheron and into the underworld. This is only slightly less disturbing than Willy Wonka's psychedelic boat ride into the factory. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes, the danger must be growing, for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! And that's not even a metaphor. He's describing a literal descent into hell. In Dante's Inferno, each level of hell is designed to punish a particular sin in a way that's related to the sin itself. Meanwhile, at Wonka's factory, children are also punished according to their sins. Augustus Gloop is so gluttonous for chocolate that he almost drowns in a river of it. Greedy Veruca Salt falls down a trash chute chasing a golden egg. Mike TV is so obsessed with TV that he actually shrinks himself to fit in one. Violet committed theft when she stole the experimental gum that turned her into a giant blueberry. At the end of Charlie's journey through the factory, he gets into a glass elevator and flies off into the sky. At the end of the Inferno, Dante climbs up the body of Satan himself and ascends to heaven. Is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory really a trip to a candy-filled playland, or a warning to children that if they don't clean up their act, they're going straight to hell? What do you think?